Hey there, it's me Eden. Welcome to Cross-Dressing Adventure Stories. Today I'm going to share with you, Cross-Dressing Adventure Story called, Classmates Turned Me Into a Sissy, Part 4. So, if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and be a part of our inclusive community. Now all the girls were sitting there wearing their bras, with just Blake without one and wearing only panties. Janet's bra, which was the only pink one, was also the laciest, being in fact all lace. Amy had a pale yellow bra, while the three other girls had white bras on. Kathy and Karen both had the largest bust, followed by Amy and Penny, with Janet the smallest. Karen said, well let me begin. As you can see I have on a white bra, which is the most common color to wear because it will not be really visible under most blouses. It has only a little bit of lace on the top parts of the cups and a little decorative bow in the middle. This is a back closure tight bra like you can see. This has little hooks on the back which can be fastened at any one of three levels, thus helping give a better fit. If you look at Amy's bra, you see that it is a front closure style, see the little clip on the front, which can't be adjusted like a back closure type. Amy gently pointed to the clip. Now, I've been wearing bras for about two years now. At first my mom noticed my nipples fairly well protruding from my t-shirts and then a little bit of jiggling of my breasts. This gave her a warning that I had better start wearing bras to be more modest in front of the boys or men. She took me to the department store and there I was fitted for some trainer bras. These have very shallow cups and are kind of dainty. They offer some protection and help a girl get used to wearing a bra. After all, it is a change to have them on every day. We'll start you off with trainer bras until you develop a fuller bust. In fact, I brought one of my favorite old trainers along just to give to you. Karen took out a thin wispy pink bra which she had folded up in her purse and gave it to Blake. Put it on now, Pam, it's yours. Blake took it sheepishly and opened it up. It was of a very thin cotton-like material with a floral pattern on it with elastic below the cups. He fumbled a bit not knowing how to align it, when Karen intervened. There, there now, let me help you. She arranged it the right way and then encircled Blake's waist from the rear and clipped the bra in his front. You see, this is what you do. Clip it in front, now shift it to your back and lift it up while putting your arms through the straps. Blake did as he was told and the bra fit just perfectly into place on his figure. With the pink bra and panties on, Blake felt suddenly very girlish. How does it feel? Not too tight. Asked Amy. It feels fine. I guess not too tight. It makes me feel kind of protected and together. Do you know what I mean? Blake had trouble describing his feelings. That's exactly how a girl feels in her bra, said Karen. Now let me finish my story. After wearing trainers such as this one for about six months it became clear that I was ready to graduate to real bras. In fact, I started with a 36A cup and then quickly went to B cups and now I am borderline B and C cups. All my bras now have underwire support in them as you can see here. Go ahead and touch this. In fact, let me take it off and show you. Karen reached behind herself and undid her bra. She took it off and handed it to Blake to examine. She told him to feel the hard underwire frame, which he did. It's a very pretty bra too. I like the lace and bow, he said. The girls all laughed at this. Blake, you don't have to be that nice. Most bras have some sort of lace on them, because girls and women like to have some pretty thing on them. It's just nice to know that it is there. My mom says that this is about where I will stay until I have a baby which then always screws up a girl's breasts. 
they become very big with milk of course, and then later sometimes shrink and sometimes don't. It's hard to predict. Blake had a puzzled expression which prompted Karen to ask, what's the matter? Oh, I was just wondering how you decided on the particular bra you're wearing right now. Well, what happens to most girls is that you try various styles out until you sort of just know which ones will be comfortable for you. It depends on the spacing of your breasts and so forth. In your case, we'll take you to the mall this weekend, and then we can look through all the bras to see which ones you like. Then, you can try them on in the fitting room and come to a conclusion as to which style is best. Penny then added, you shouldn't worry about being flat-chested, because we are getting some special breast forms for you from my cousin, which will give you a real bust. These come in all sizes and we will start with the cups, which we'll give to you on Saturday when you come over here. Then, after a few weeks we'll see about increasing your size. This way you sort of go through a kind of growth period just like we all did. So you should wear this trainer bra from now until Saturday, to get some feeling for wearing a bra, and then you'll suddenly outgrow it on Saturday, and be more like one of us. You mean I should wear the trainer all the time from now to Saturday? Yes, of course. But won't someone see it under my shirt, I mean my blouse? Not if you wear a dark color, and make sure the blouse is loose-fitting. Don't you have some tops like that? For example, the one you wore today. I am sure that no one can see your trainer bra under it. Blake put his top back on and stood in front of the mirror. To his surprise he saw that the bra was not visible at all. Great, this means I'll be able to wear a bra all the time. How wonderful! He took his top back off and Janet reached over and hugged him. You're just so precious, Pam. I love the way you really appreciate things. It suddenly occurred to Blake that when he got the breast forms it might not be possible to wear the bras. What'll I do when I get the A-cup breast forms? He looked crushed. Don't worry, Pam, that is where it gets interesting. At that size, you wouldn't be noticeable as long as you wear very loose-fitting tops. So we'll buy a few of them, so that you don't have to worry. Anyway, let us hear from Janet about her bra, Karen said. You see Pam, I have a relatively small bust, a bit larger than an A cup but not quite AB, while this might seem a bad thing. In fact, it is quite nice because there are many more opportunities for choosing a really pretty bra when you are not large busted. Girls with small busts get to pick from a whole range of very delicate and pretty lacy bras. We don't really need underwire support so that the bras may be just little wispy things which are very sensuous to wear. Like the one I'm wearing now. Janet then took off her bra and handed it over to Blake to look at. He said, I think I'm just falling in love with this style. It is such a pretty shade of pink and I love the lace. Do you think I'll be able to find one just like this at the mall? Of course you will. They'll have many different ones just as pretty there. I can't wait to go. Blake exclaimed. The conversation continued on discussing each of the girls' experiences in getting their first bras, and what it felt like to wear them and what they thought about when they went shopping for new ones. They mentioned how to try and coordinate bras with the style of top they were wearing, matching not only color, but the bra type to the outfit. For example, with a very tight top, you want to wear a smooth bra while with a white blouse, a very pretty lacy white bra is appropriate if you feel daring. The girls discussed when they put their bras on in the morning. Janet, Penny and Amy all put them on right after they peed, while Kathy and Karen liked to wait until after breakfast, that way they lounged around in their nighties feeling very casual. They also told Blake how they chose their bra each day as they opened their dresser drawer. They usually would pick out a matching bra and panty set that was coordinated to the outfit they wanted to wear. 
The girls put their blouses and tops back on, which left Blake sitting there in just panties and the trainer bra. Now we have to get all your measurements, so we'll be prepared for shopping on Saturday. Karen said. She went and got a tape measure, with which they measured Blake's chest, waist, and hips. They concluded that he would wear a size 36A bra and size 12 dresses. Now we have a special present for you which we have already gotten. Janet came over and gave Blake a large box. He opened it carefully and discovered a wig of styled long light brown hair which matched his exact coloring. With this, and a little makeup we are sure that you'll be very pretty. Go try it on. Blake went into the bathroom with Janet where she helped him on with the wig and told him some basic facts about styling it and caring for it. When he came out, the girls excitedly told Blake that he looked just as attractive as any of them. He just needed a little blush on his cheeks and a little trimming of his eyebrows and he would be very feminine looking. Before they went to the mall the girls would show him how to put on makeup including lipstick and some eyeliner and eyeshadow. That's all for today. See you in the next video, till then take care. Oh yes, please like and subscribe to my channel. And also share your feedback, it really means a lot to me.